All right, everyone. So, I just got this chair. A um, little backstory. I tried a different chair. It didn't really go over too well. I got it on Amazon. And, yeah, the chair was... The quality was pretty bad. Uh, it was actually ripped and all that stuff. Anyway, so I returned it. And I went to Staples and got this chair. This is a gaming chair. Now, this might look familiar if anyone out there are in the market of gaming chairs. But something you have to keep in mind is that this kind of chair, there's a manufacturer that makes this chair, but they sell it to other stores. So, this is... This is, I, I can't remember the exact uh, manufacturer, but the manufacturer makes this and then uh, Staples buys them in bulk and they sell in their stores. From what I was told, this is actually supposed to be a really nice chair, you know, for what it is. This is not a typical type of gaming chair, obviously, you know, it's not, you're not going to have like the um, independent back adjustment like a race car or you know like a like a typical car this is this has more of the gaming chair aesthetics but it's more closer to an office chair so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and let's see what we get alright I cut it open I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up now I was actually told in the store that Staples had this during Christmas for $100. And apparently it sold so well that they decided to start selling this more year-round now at a higher cost. So if I, know, if I knew about this chair, I would have probably got this during Christmas and only paid $100 instead of $150 now. These are the arms, and of course, these things do go up and down for uh, easy storage. bottom part got the back part I'll say one thing though this chair is a lot heavier than the previous chair I tried out. Got the bottom part here. I'll just set that back there. Hardware stuff, and of course the lever thing. All right, this box is empty, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing together, and I'll get back to you. All right, everyone. So it's been a couple of days since I've put this chair together and used it. I wanted to use this chair before just ending the video right away. Um, 
I want I was originally just going to put the chair together and then just sit on it right away and then give my initial impressions but I wanted to really use this chair just so I get a more realistic take on how this chair really feels now if you're looking at the chair you know right now this is obviously the black and red version there's also a black and blue version and I'm pretty sure there's other colors uh, but when I got this chair they only had it in two different colors I got it in black and red you know since you know it kind of keeps with the theme of my channel and the theme with the inside components of my computer and with my car anyway so black and red is what I went with now there are a couple of things about this chair that I really like but there are a few things I'm not too fond of but I'm still going to recommend this chair so first of all keep in mind this particular chair has that gaming look of a gaming chair but it doesn't feel like a gaming chair uh, so a typical gaming chair has this racy, racing car seat style. So let's just say this. If you want a gaming chair, but you don't want that racing seat feel, this is actually a good option. Um, this feels more like an office chair than a racing seat. Now because of that, there are some things with this chair that you're obviously just not going to get. Uh, so, a lot of the gaming chairs out there, they have, you can fine tune the uh, armrest. Well, you can adjust them, but it's really just doing this. That is the adjustment. You, you can't adjust the height, you can't lower it. Uh, the way this is, is the way it is. Uh, for me personally, this is actually a good height for me, uh, but there were some reviews out there that did say uh, that these armrests was actually a little too high for them. So if they have this chair in size staples for you to try, try it, see how the armrest feels. Personally for me, they're just about the right height. And I don't know how well the camera's going to pick up here. But my armrest is about the same level as my desk, which means when when I have my arms on the armrest and then using the keyboard and mouse, you know, it's not going to feel like I'm either slunching over or going down like that. You know, it's going to be pretty flat, which is personally good for me. Um, the I wouldn't really say this is a headrest. You know, depending on how tall you are. Uh, the bottom portion of my head actually rests on here, but the top portion is exposed. So, depending on how tall you are, it's going to depend how well this uh, headrest is. Personally, for me, it, for me personally, it's not a necessity to have a headrest on a chair because when I'm using a computer, you know, I'm concentrating more on the screen. You know, I'm not like sl slouching back and basically sleeping on the chair while using the computer. You know, I, I don't really do that. Um, another thing to keep in mind, and that is, actually, I'm going to uh, pan the, the camera down a little. So this portion here, the bottom portion, it looks like, okay, it's just a design element. Well, there's actually two different foams on this thing. You got this really stiff, heavy-duty, you know, semi-hard semi foam in this black area, this uh, black middle portion. And then around here, you have a softer foam. Now, I, can, I kind of understand why they did that. I think part of the problem is, is that I kind of wish this back portion, you know, kind of slouched back a little instead of having being too flat. Because over time, I've started noticing, oh, it actually kind of feels like I'm leaning forward instead of leaning back. Um, 
but I'm going to see how, how well this chair holds up uh, because I did get uh, Staples uh, three year warranty. Uh, they do this uh, square trade warranty thing where if, you know, if the material rips or, you know, the foam goes bad or, you know, this thing breaks in three years, I go back to Staples, tell them that, or, you know, I call them up and tell them that. And I pretty much get my money back. So that that is a good thing about it. Um, but this chair feels more like an office chair than a typical gamer's chair. So if you're not too fond of the gaming chair feel of a racing seat, but you want that look of it, this is actually not a bad option. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, besides that, uh, putting this chair together is actually not that difficult at all. Um, I like how the chair looks. This particular chair though, I've noticed the stiffness on this. Uh, you know, putting the armrest up and down is a little more loose than this one here, so it's not a big deal, but I'm just pointing that out. Uh, you got this uh, shiny plastic black uh, pieces that connects the chair together. Uh, by the way, this bottom part is plastic, so it's not metal. Uh, anything else? Well, you do have this uh, resistance thing. So, so yeah, I can actually stiffen the chair up. Well, stiffen the, the tilt back some to make it more stiff. Oh, speaking of tilt, um, this back part is connected to the bottom part. So, the back, the back portion of the chair doesn't adjust independently. So when I say that this is an office chair with a gaming look, you know, you have to keep in mind this is this lies more with a office chair than a gamer's chair. It just has that gamer's chair look, but feels like an office chair. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, is there anything else to add about this chair? Um, not too much. You know, the weight of this, you know, the weight of the chair, you know, to lift it, is not light, but it's not heavy either. You know, it's, it's an average weight. Uh, if I was to, to classify this chair as, um, Though, it would be interesting how well the foam holds up over time, though. Because, like I said before, like this bottom part, this foam is really, really soft, but the center part is really stiff. Whereas, up here, the foam is much stiffer, but in the center, is much softer. So, it's an interesting design, how they've uh, put, you know, the, the kinds of foams they use. You know, the armrest, you know, is padded, so that is something to keep in mind, which is, you know, I'm not knocking that. You know, I actually prefer a padded armrest. But, uh, this material is not leather. It's, you know, it's just, uh, it's basically just vinyl. So, not exactly going to be the most breathable material in the, in the world. But... You know, that's, that's how it looks. So, uh, also keep in mind there's no, uh, there's no support for your lower back or anything like that. In that you can't adjust it. Uh, so, it is, it is all fixed. So, that is something to keep in mind. But, you know, if this chair breaks within three years, I'll make an update video about that and let you guys know. But, I did get... Like I said earlier, that uh, three-year warranty thing for this chair. So I don't really have to be gentle with this chair. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, for the price, you know, for $150, if you get the warranty, uh, where I went, it was an extra $30. But, you know, if you're just getting the chair, you don't care about the warranty or anything like that, for $150, uh, you could do, certainly do worse. Um, I've tried chairs that were more expensive, and they were a lot more uncomfortable than this chair. I think for the price, this is just about right for what you're getting. Um, the only real exposed um, um, mesh material they use is going to be in this open area here. There's actually mesh in here. So, and there is some mesh, like, where, where the chair, like, connects here. But besides that, it's all of this uh, pleather material. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Like always, have a good one. Leave those comments down below. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And like always, have a good one. I don't know what I'm doing.